Hey there, Canonites. Exciting news today as we prepare for the San Diego Comic Con. Just a quick note, I will be doing all that I can over the next few days and over the weekend to cover any and all news coming out of Comic Con, so stay tuned for all that. The big news today has to do with Halo Nightfall. We know that there's a whole panel dedicated to it at Comic Con and that a trailer or teaser of some sort will be there. But today, 343 released some images of Mike Coulter as Agent Locke, and they are certainly some juicy morsels for us to whet our appetites with. But more on those later. In addition to that, we got a couple of interviews, one by Variety and another by a site called Canada.com. In both, Coulter exclaims his excitement over playing Agent Jameson Locke, who, in addition to being the focus of Halo Nightfall, will play a major role in Halo 5 Guardians. It's always great when an actor enjoys the role, so it's safe to bet that we're going to have a strong performance by Coulter. The Variety article also gives us some hints towards what we might expect from Halo Nightfall. In the live-action digital series, Coulter plays an agent with the Office of Naval Intelligence, whose team is sent to investigate terrorist activity on a distant colony world, and are eventually drawn to an ancient, hellish artifact during their search. Ancient, hellish artifact? Given that the promotional art for Nightfall features a broken halo ring, it seems to heavily imply that we might revisit the derelict and destroyed Forerunner weapon. Oni certainly has a history with Installation 04, as seen in the motion comic, Mona Lisa. It's also interesting the mentioning of insurrectionists on a distant colony. Could this be Venezia or a new colony altogether? And what might these insurrectionists have to do with Installation 04, assuming our <coughs> assumptions are true? Only time will tell. Now on to the pictures. Our first shot is just a close-up of Locke. The second, we get a more complete shot, with a lot more to talk about. Immediately we can see that, by this time, Locke has taken a bit of damage. We also get a nice little Oni logo on his shirt, but perhaps most interesting of all are the props. He's carrying a DMR, and damn does it look good! Microsoft and 343 are certainly stepping up their game for this series. The next picture is another close-up of Locke, this time looking very intimidating. We can also see that he has proper body armor on, though nothing like what we've seen before. On his shoulder we can see the Lieutenant Commander symbol, his rank as we saw in the Halo 2 Anniversary Terminal trailer. Perhaps he compiled the profile on Thel before joining the Spartans? Or maybe he does, for some reason, keep his rank after becoming one. Finally, my favorite picture of all, a badass Jameson Locke walking around what looks to be a former battlefield. All in all, given these pictures, it seems that the series takes place before Locke becomes a Spartan, or Oni decides to field him without armor for some reason, though I'd probably guess the former. If he becomes a Spartan at the end, or if these scenes take place during flashbacks is unknown, though either seems possible at this time. For now, let us marvel in the glory of these wondrous images. Nightfall is set to be an exciting Halo series, and I can only hope that we get to see some awesome footage from Comic-Con. For now, this was Halo Canon, and I'll see you next time, Agents. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means a lot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose. Your support is greatly appreciated. I cannot stress that enough. Thanks for watching.